Well, a very warm welcome to our family time event for this afternoon, Sunday afternoon. This is the third one of these events that we've run. Of course, the first two have been in church, um, but because of the situation at the moment, we're doing this just online. So thank you for joining in with us, and uh, we hope that you'd find this helpful, and you might want to invite your friends to join in with this as well at some point. Uh, that would be great. Our theme today, we're thinking about light, wonderful light of day, perhaps light in the house, but also, more importantly, the light that God gives. And uh, as we think about this through the theme of our service today, we hope that this resonates with you and helps you to think about Jesus, the light of the world, perhaps in these dark times that we're facing. But as I say, very warm welcome to our service, our family time event today. Hello, can you see me? Can you see me now? Can you see me now? I'm wearing my cycling jacket. I've decided not to go cycling because it's pouring with rain, but I've put it on anyway. And what can you see? When the light shines on the reflectors, it shines back and you can see them. But with the glow bands, even when there was no light, they were giving out light. So there's two different things, things which shine back light when there's light on them and some things which give out light by themselves. What kind of person do you think you're like? Someone who shines back light when it's all going well and there's lots of sunshine? Or someone who radiates light even when it's really dark and everything around is dark? And that's what we're going to be thinking about in our worship today. See if you can listen out for other mentions of light as we go through. Hopefully you can see me a bit better now. I found the light switch and I found a candle. So I'm going to ask some questions about light, a mini quiz about light. So when a person blocks light, what do you see on the ground? Look at this picture. What is it called and what does it do? What do plants need to grow? Who invented the light bulb? What colour are traffic lights? Name three things which give light. That's the end of the quiz. We'll show the answers on the screen at the end. to a place which was really, really properly dark, like absolutely no chink of light whatsoever anywhere. I wonder what that felt like. 
And I wonder how it felt when you came back out of that place into the light again. Our reading today comes from a letter which Paul wrote to a church in a place called Thessalonica. Now, in St Albans in 2020, there's a lot of light everywhere, even at night. There are street lights, there are lights in houses, there's the lights of our mobile phone screens and our iPads and our computers and our TV screens too. There are lights in the street from cars and buses and all the passing traffic. Because of electricity, we live with a lot of light, even at night. But when Paul wrote to the Christians in Thessalonica, things were much, much darker as soon as night fell. Imagine what that would have been like to live there. So much of what you might do would depend on how much darkness and light there is. You can't really work in the dark. You can't go very far in the dark. And maybe you don't feel very safe when it's dark either. It's often quite risky to go out in the dark. You need to be alert to the hazards and the danger there. Even to have light inside the house where you live requires somebody to light some candles or light a lamp and keep that going, while somebody else is probably trying to keep the fire going as well. Darkness caused a lot of problems at night back in those days. When it was dark and you couldn't see, there was danger. This is the reading. For you yourselves know very well that the day of the Lord will come like a thief in the night. But you, beloved, are not in darkness for that day to surprise you like a thief. For you are all children of light and children of the day. We are not of the night or of darkness. The reading suggests we should be ready to keep the light burning. So when Jesus comes, we can be ready for him. How can we be children of light and be ready? What are the little things we can do to bring light to our world right now? For example, you could give something to a food bank. A lot of people do something called a reverse advent calendar in December, where every day, instead of eating a chocolate out of a a normal advent calendar, They donate a a grocery item into a food box. By the way, I think it's totally acceptable to have a chocolate advent calendar as well. Some people prepare a box of presents to send to a child who doesn't have much. Or maybe they just ring up or WhatsApp somebody who's lonely. There are so many opportunities to bring a little bit of light into the world. Lord, help us to see the light, be the light, and share the light. Amen. God, you have made us your children. You have spread your arms wide and welcomed us. Light and love, you welcome all. Amen. Dear God, help us to be the light in dark places this week. Amen. Well, that was great. Thank you very much for joining in and being part of our family time event today. Um, Great to have you with us. And as I said at the beginning, do let others know if you'd like them to perhaps join in with some of this with you as well. And um, Keep an eye out for what's happening over the run up to Christmas. We've got lots of things planned, a lot of which will be online, of course, and an opportunity for children, families and adults all to join together in some of the events that we're going to be running in the run up to Christmas and over Christmas itself. So our service then draws to a close, our uh, time together. Just a thought really, as we finish, I wonder what you might do in this coming week to help you remember some of the things that we've been thinking about in our service today. 
in our thoughts and reflections through this event. I wonder perhaps, here's an idea, every time you switch on a light, perhaps you can think of someone that you know who might appreciate a kind thought or a prayer that you could think of them and pray for them uh, in these days. Uh, or maybe you can think of somebody for whom you can do something for that brings a bit of light to them as well. So either somebody you can pray for, or think kind thoughts about, or somebody you can do something helpful for that brings them a sense of light. So every time you switch on a light, here we are, I switch on my light here, Every time you switch on a light, like a desk lamp, or a light in and out of a room, or a bedside lamp, or whatever it might be, every time you switch a light on, think about God's light that shines, and how you might help others to be aware of that too. And so a blessing for the end of our time together today. May God, who sent Jesus to be the light of the world, shine his light brightly in our lives, that we might shine for him too, day by day and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be with you and remain with you always. Amen.